Good morning to my Parkinson's family from Grandolph and Aria. I got a little video for you today of some footage that I've dug up from uh, it was about a year and a half, I'm betting, after uh, I was diagnosed. This video today is going to be about holding on to the things that are important to you and just how important it is to not give up on them. A lot of times it might seem like this is just our fate, that we have this disease and these things are going to be taken away from us. Um, I'm not sure that I can make these 30 inch box over jumps like I used to uh, anymore, but I have to keep trying. Uh, like I said, this is not recently. This is about a year and a half ago. This in particular, I was about 15 pounds lighter, but this is about a 42 inch box jump from my knees and like I said this is about a year and a half after diagnosis things hadn't been taken away uh, near to the extent that they have been now but then now we move forward to today and I've recently decided uh, not to let these things go and to continue trying to train them because while it might not be important to be able to jump up on a 50 inch box it's part of who I am and I've decided to claim them as mine. What you're seeing here is uh, my training from the other day. Uh, it's very difficult to convince yourself uh, to make this jump that if I miss it, I'm going to fall uh, pretty bad. And there's no going halfway on it. it there's no half attempt. You have to jump believing that you're going to land on this 36 inch target and it is very hard to convince yourself to pull the trigger but here at the end I've actually worked up to doing it the more difficult way of leaving my feet flat on the floor and not picking them up which is something I actually could not do before so this is in a way me getting better it's really important that we not give up on the things that are, that make us who we are. This disease is going to take plenty from us. We don't have to give it anything. What this is right here is me training something that I have technically lost the ability to do uh, completely. I can't perform a snatch, so what I do is I practice the parts of it. Eventually I may be able to put those parts together but I get the benefit of that high pull from the snatch. Okay, I'm gonna apologize for the dad bod here, but it's really hot in the gym, and um, it's actually important that I show this uh, farmer walk because it's a recent decision that I've made to, uh, despite the difficulty that I have with it, it's very important um, because it teaches me to stride very strongly against resistance and my stride is one of my weaker um, Parkinson's traits I guess you would say and um, I realized this um, the other night when I prescribed them and was trying to teach them to a new client and I like I say I've recently decided to just reincorporate them into my own program and kind of double down on them you know, the truth is, I may never be back on top of this box with a big 50-inch box jump again. But that doesn't mean that I quit jumping. So, I hope that you guys do the same. Take care out there, everybody. Uh, Godspeed, and never give up.